My name is Anderson, and welcome back to the Another Lesson with me. How are you today? Good? Okay. Today, we are going to learn about superlative adjectives. Superlative adjectives are the adjective that shows the highest point of comparison. I will read it again. Superlative adjectives are the adjective that shows the highest point of comparison. You can use superlative adjectives when you want to express the highest or very high degree of equality. For your easier understanding, I made an example. Let's have a look at this picture, everyone. Look at this building. This is this building is called Burj Khalifa. Burj Khalifa is one of the buildings in Dubai, UAE. Wow. This building looks really high, isn't it? This building is high. This building is high. But what can we do with this sentence if you want to show some change or make comparison? From, from what we have learned from the previous video about comparative adjectives, we should change the form, form of the adjective high into higher. We added er. When we compare Burj Khalifa with this small building, we need to use then to compare one thing with another. For example, Burj Khalifa is higher than this building. Yes, this is a, this was a comparative adjectives if you cannot remember just go back to the website and access to the video about comparative adjectives everyone okay um next one but if you want to show the highest, highest de degree of comparison, we need to put the. This is really important. We need to put the and change the form of the adjective tall into tallest. Building. Okay, let's read it. Let's read it together. One, two, three. Burj Khalifa is the tallest building. One more time. Burj Khalifa is the tallest building. Very good. Next one. Um, let's look at another example. This cave is deep. One more time. This cave is deep. So we have a subject here, verb is deep, adjective. What if you want to show the highest degree? We need to put, as always, we need to put the and change the form of the adjective deep into deepest. Let's read it. This cave is the deepest. This cave is the deepest. Very good. Then, oh, teacher. Then, should we have to put the? And change the adjective form into EST. 
every time when we want to express the highest point of comparison. Yes, we should use the in front of the superlative adjectives. But however, superlative adjective itself can be changed based on the adjective itself. You must really familiar with this list because this list is also applicable applicable on this superlative adjective as well. So we have five options. So let's read it again. When the adjective is one syllable, adjective ends in e, adjective with the vowel and consonant. Cons vowel a e e o u consonant everything without a e e o u okay so adjective with consonant and y five adjectives with two syllables and more very good uh, now let's uh let's have a look at the first example she is old and this baguette is long. Let's read the word old and long again. Old, long, old, long. We can say it in, in a one syllable. Old, 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 long, 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 long. When the adjective ends in a one syllable, how can we change this adjective? Yes, since the word old has only one syllable, we need to put oldest. We need to add E-S-T. Oldest. Sorry about that, everyone. So, oldest. What about this one? This baguette is the longest. Same here. We just added est. Remember, when when the adjective turns into superlative adjective, we need to add est. When the adjective has only one syllable. Okay. Uh, let's have a look at the second example, everyone. Uh, she is nice. This city is large. One more time. She is nice. This city is large. When the adjective ends in E, in the comparative adjective, what do we do? Huh? Yes, we put R. Right? Then what about superlative adjectives? We add st, just st. Why? We already have e. We don't need to put e again. It'll be hard to pronounce it. So, she is the. Every time you need to put the. This is the exception. Just to put the in every time. She is the nicest. This city is the largest. Since we have e already. We just need to put ST. Okay? She's the nicest. This city is the largest. Okay? Very good. Let's move on. So, number three. Uh, when the adjective ends in a vowel and a consonant, how can we change this? How can we change this um, adjective? Okay, let's... I want to read this. This car is big. This car is big. Big. This dog is fat. This dog is fat. Okay, so uh, do you guys remember um, what is vowel? Yes, a e i o u consonant is everything without without a vowel, right? So let's look at this lovely adjectives here. Big. Vowel here and a consonant G. Fat. We have vowel here. T as a consonant. So 
when the adjective ends in a vowel and consonant. How can we change this adjective then? This car is the biggest. This dog is the fattest. We need to double the consonant. We need to double the consonant and we need to add the most common superlative adjective prefixed EST. Biggest. Let's read it again. This car is the biggest. This dog is the fattest. Okay? Very good. Uh, let's move on to the next example. When the adjective ends in a consonant and Y, how can we change this adjective? Okay, let, let's read these sentences first. You look happy. You look happy. This movie is silly. This movie is silly. So, let's focus on these two adjectives here. Happy and silly. So, consonant. What did I say? Is everything without a, a, e, o, u. Yeah, there it is. Consonant here and y. Okay. This movie is silly. L, o. Everything without a, a, e, o, u. Then it that includes in two consonants that belongs to consonant, right? And Y. So, it ends in the vowel and consonant. How can we change this adjective? Of course, we need to add the, but we take out the Y and we add I. And we change in two we add EST. So I will give you an example here. I will change it with for you guys. Happy. So so we need to we want to change this adjective into superlative adjective. Then we need to take out the Y here. And we need to change Y into I. Happiest. Happiest. And add EST. So this is the right answer. Happiest. You look the happiest. This movie is the silliest. Okay, very good. Let's move on to another example. Number five. Adjective has two syllables or more. How can we change this adjective? Let's read the word aloud. My dog is careful. My dog is careful. This movie is interesting. This movie is interesting. Okay, let's focus on these um, adjectives here. Let's read it slowly. Careful. Careful. Interesting. Interesting. Careful. Careful has two syllables. Interesting. Interesting has three syllables. My dog is careful. This movie is Interesting. So, how can we change this adjective? We don't need to change anything. We need to put most. Most in between, in between the and the adjective. Let's read the sentence again. My dog is the most careful. The most careful. This movie is the most interesting. Okay, so when the adjectives has two or more adjectives, uh, two or more syllables in superlative adjective, we need to add most. But remember, in every superlative adjective, we need to add the before the adjective, okay? That's really important. Remember, the is really important, okay? Very good. Um, very good, everyone. It's a quiz time. Go back to the website and let's solve the quiz together. Okay. See you in the answers and more video. Bye-bye.